Now yesterday when we picked up with Joseph, we found that he was living in an Egyptian home. He was taking care of a household and he was entrusted to everything. Everything within the house was entrusted to him because this guy could see something different about Joseph and his walk. It's a pretty great place to be. But of course, whenever that happens, there's always something or someone on the outside that also wants to have something that may not be a believer and usually to try to take this away from us. It could be a job, it could be a promotion, it could be money, it could be all kinds of different things. It could be something within our relationship or our happiness with our family. So all of a sudden we get a, a, to take a look at who Joseph is and it talks about him being very well built and very good looking. And because of this, there's someone who does take notice and that someone who takes notice is Potiphar's wife. And over and over and over, she's like, hey, Joseph, come on over here. Hey, Joseph, come on over here. And she's wanting something that he knows he can't do. And so finally, one day he says to her, how could I do this and sin against, you ready? Not himself, sin against, not his boss. But he says, how could I do this and sin against God? So if you're asking yourself, how is it that I can live according to what God wants me to live? In each and every moment, you need to ask yourself, am I sinning against God? And sin means this, it means missing the mark. Am I missing the mark with God in my thoughts? Am I missing the mark with God in my heart? Am I missing the mark with God in the things that I choose, in the places that I attend, in the people that I hang out with? Those are all fair questions that only you can answer and only I can answer. But just ask yourself this question, am I sinning against God? And you know that answer. Think about it.